Peace, love, and blessings. Peace, love, and blessings. I am back with another word. Y'all, this is just a real quick message. The Father had gave me this word a few weeks ago. Um, it probably was longer than longer than that, honestly. But he brought it back up in my spirit. Um, and this is about, you know, your close circle. This is about, you know, your friends, okay? And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach y'all, and if y'all probably already know this prayer, but I'm gonna teach y'all a real simple prayer to pray when you are questioning someone that you are closely connected to. Okay? It's important, y'all, to really know who to cut off and who to hold on to. Okay? Um, every friend is not meant to be cut off. You have to use discernment. Father been showing me 144, which means discernment, like to discern. Um, some people are simply sent in your life, you know, for you to help them through being delivered from unclean spirits. Some people may have a spirit of envy and jealousy jealousy, unknowingly. And those are sometimes the ones you're meant to help, okay? Sometimes, sometimes, I'm gonna say sometimes, okay? Um, they may have pure intentions, but still struggle with the spirit of jealousy or envy. So you got to learn to pray against that spirit. When the father is not telling you specifically to cut that person off, you, you got to remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spirits, principality, rules of darkness. It's a spiritual battle. You know what I'm saying? God might have sent you in that person's life just to simply help them, you know, um, through their deliverance process. They might have been connected to people that don't even realize that they're wrestling against a particular spirit. And so you, being as though you are on a journey with the Father, you're able to identify unclean spirits. And, you know, also fight. Fight. And pray against it for your, 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 per, your, your friend or relative to receive that deliverance, okay? But again, discernment is very important. Um... And just a real simple prayer, I'm going to say it at the end. If you don't know who's supposed to be connected to you in your current season or seasons to come, here's a simple prayer. Ask God to reveal, ask God to expose, and ask God to remove those who are not supposed to be in your life. I don't want y'all to just ask it one time. I want y'all to ask the Father every single day, Lord, I ask you to reveal to expose and to remove those that are not supposed to be in my life. I ask you to remove any blockages that's keeping me from pursuing your purpose, pursuing your will, or keeping me from receiving my promise. Anyone that is blocking me, I ask that you reveal, remove, expose, and remove. And when you're doing it, Heavenly Father, I ask you to protect my heart. I think that's the most powerful thing to pray when you're praying this prayer because God will remove and sometimes it's the person that you least expected and it hurts. And so that's why it's very important to back that up. Lord, I ask that you protect my heart while you're revealing, exposing and removing those who are not for me in this season. Amen. So that's just real quick, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I have lived it so many times. As soon as I asked, as soon as I went into prayer about a person, and I go into prayer specifically about individuals in my life, specifically. And I'm telling you, every single time I specifically go to God about a person, they end up hanging themselves. They end up doing something where it's like, you can't even go back. Like it's, it's, it's all the way a wrap. You know what I'm saying? And lately when I pray to prayer, like protect my heart, it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't, I can really feel that that hedge of protection. I can really feel that the father is protecting my heart while he's exposing, removing, revealing these people. Okay. So when I say I have lived it time after time after time where God has revealed, I'm telling y'all, God don't play. Okay. And he does it swiftly swiftly so again if you are questioning anybody that's in your life in your close circle family friends jobs any situation 
say that prayer to the father and say it every day specifically about the individual or the situation or whatever the case is and i bet you the father is going to do it and he's going to do it like speedily okay so again i hope that bless you peace love and blessings um that's all i have for you okay i'll be back with another word when the father releases me peace love and blessings love you